più bella non è cielo qui vicino a me Ok Good morning you guys Good morning y'all Welcome back to another Florida vlog We only have probably two more left So soak it in while you can yeah. Alright this is going to be a fun weekend vlog That's right We idly have the weekend off And we're excited to just like Hopefully get some good beach days it's cloudy right now so i don't know i'm so mesmerized by the waves i know right look how big the waves are today i know they're rough, rough. rough. right now we're going to run some errands it's saturday morning we're on the list to get coffee and we need to go to Publix and get ice so I know, we needed something else from Publix too i meant to tell you last night i wrote down ice i know i made a list last night and i wrote down ice i love a good Publix run Publix in florida is epic you guys it is epic it is so good what's weird about Publix is i don't love the one in nashville it's like no, it doesn't vibe in other states. It's no. like Florida it's Florida Publix. vibes. Yeah. Anyway, well, all right. We're gonna get to going it. to coffee. We're going to go to Black Bear this morning and then hit Publix and then get the day a rolling. Mm. Okay, guys. Black Bear is the epic coffee shop, breakfast spot, bakery. If you're down at 38, you got to go. Okay, part of the wise. It is a little tight in there for strollers. So if you have a baby, bring the Duna. Or, or carry the baby. Because <laughs> usually there's a really long line here. We're here early enough where it's pretty good. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Raspberry, orange, and chocolate scone. Blueberry scone is delicious. And morning bun. Can I please get a decaf coffee? Yeah. Hot latte, ice latte, and um, Amer uh, well, do you have, is your decaf drip coffee or? We do not have decaf drip. We can do decaf, decaf espresso. espresso. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, decaf Americano then, please. Americano, you want that hot or ice? Hot, please. Medium. Back at the grocery store. I feel like every vlog, this is like our activity down here. Came in our PJs. I got this. Wait, I can't turn it that way. Got the cutest little set from Gap. Gap is crushing it, guys. I feel like they made a turnaround. Um, they have really good, like, classics. Wow, look how cute. It's like light yellow, boyfriend sweats, and a crew neck. Very cute. Look at us twinning. <gasps> That's uh, so cute! Uh, I uh, love it! The uh, baby's covering your eyes. Okay, here we go. Well, I got some laundry detergent. And ice. Oh, should we get cottage cheese? Smoke wants it. Smokey. <laughs> get it, Illy. We're addicted to cottage cheese. It is so good. Such a good source of protein, too. Can you hold that? We eat it, like, every day. It's good with eggs. I haven't tried it sweet yet, but I will eventually. Well, some people said to put it in your eggs when you cook your eggs. Oh, yeah, it's we should like try like that. Stuff. That's what I told you. Dark. Check. Smoke, smoke was holding the butter, you guys. We looked down and... <laughs> that happened. We're still gonna buy it. No smoke. You can't have that. He has two bottom teeth now, so... You can gnaw into things like a little chipmunk. Oh, sorry. I'm gonna get a snorkel. What color do I want? Purple. Ooh, that'll be fun. Look at some fish or some seashells. We were on our way home from Publix. I just um, changed my shirt from underneath this sweatshirt. Um, and there's an open house near the grocery store. And we just saw the signs driving home. We were like, should we pop in? Um, we love going to open houses. And it's like a cottage. It's like what we would be wanting. So we're going to just pop in and check it out. Because why not? Um, it looks really cute. So here's the front. It's adorable. This is the primary, a little front porch. It has a little doggy door over here. It's kind of cute, look. There's my truck out there. You got this little front porch that's covered and a little doggy door over there with a ramp down to the little grass pad. It's kind of a good idea. Bathroom, really cute. So this is a cottage that was redone. Yeah, I think it's been renovated. Um, adorable very nicely done it's three bedroom which is like the perfect size that we be, we would be wanting it has a little yard what do you think buddy yeah, i wanted somewhere to like chill outside it's so lovely 
Will you picture. show me loves pants? Your side yard. So cute. That is really cute. So that's the front porch where you walk in, but you have this little side porch. Yeah, the fear with a cottage is like storage, but this is a really good closet. Yes. Oh, they have these hooks at our cottage too, and I want to put some in my closet. Yeah, they're nice. I've, I've been hanging my jackets yeah, on the side. Yeah, or like I've been bags and belts and stuff. It's cute. Cute little guest bedroom. Pretty small, but good for a kid's room. Smoky, this would be your room. And your little closet. That's perfect. Cute little shared bathroom. Love it. I love this little hallway. And this is, yeah, this is great. This is not the primary, but... It's plenty big for a second guest's bedroom. So cozy. I love this little chair. It's really cute. Oh, I just want a cottage. I love it. I like these pillows. Are these the Restoration Harbor ones that I had? The little windows are so charming and cute. Something that you don't find a lot of places here that's kind of random. Yeah. Um, it's spacious. To add a pool. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty. Backyard. Cute. Could definitely add a pool. We used to have that in our garden in Texas. Plants are pretty. That uh, here, uh, I see you are, so just let them know you came by. Yeah. If this one has a nice uh, Cute. Cute, cute, cute. So cute from the outside, too. Look at it. Uh oh. Oh, okay. Thoughts on the open house? It's been my favorite one we've seen. Definitely favorite one we've seen. We've been kind of bopping in and out of it. Open yeah, houses. I don't know if we mentioned that. that. In the book. The it is size. the perfect size. So it is 1,500 square feet, three bed, two bath, which is just perfect for what we are looking for to just like maybe spend a little time down here, a couple months out of the year. Um, we say what we're looking for. It's be like what we would be looking for. What I don't we, think we're yeah. like serious and what we would be right wanting. Now. But we're just exploring to get the feel for it. Yeah, um, that's super cute. I don't know if we would rent it out while we weren't there. I don't know if we're the type to do that. We might just want to like have it, but we'll see. I mean, I know obviously there's so many rentals down here, and it's really easy to rent. So maybe we would. The but rental opportunity is nice. I mean, it is. It would pay for your house. Right. When you're not staying there, you know. Exactly. Um, we also really like the location because it's walkable to the beach, which is amazing. The only caveat is that there is, it's on like sort of a main road and there's, um, but there is a fence that like protects it, but it's just like a little noisy. It's the not car, like cars by. peaceful serenity. That's the only thing. This one's so cute. It's so cute. You got a little outdoor space too out back, the pool. It's a good lot. So cute. So that's definitely close to the feel that we would want. I don't know, timing wise, like we've got to get through this cabin project before we really get super serious about getting anything. But in the meantime, we were wanting to just explore and see like what's out there and what we would want, what areas, stuff like that. We love this lot. It's not for sale, but we love it. It's so cute. Fences up front. Fence. It's like kind of, it looks like almost a half acre or something. Yeah. So cute. Also, it's like one thing we've been thinking about while we've been down here is like, do you want to buy a little cottage that you then fix up and renovate yourself? Mm -hmm. Do we have the energy for that, the time, desire, all that kind of stuff? Or do you buy something that's already slightly been renovated and you can always kind of make your little touches to it if you want? Totally. And you can probably get something a little bit more affordable yeah. if it's something that needs to needs work. Totally. Obviously, so. But again, we're That's in the balance. middle of a project right now, so we just have to sort of wait till we get through that to really, you know, capitalize. So probably maybe by, hopefully by next summer, but right now we're just the street's really pretty getting though. the feel. Yeah. Okay, we are home, getting ready to make some breakfast. I'm gonna chop up a little fruit salad. Been loving. Booker, please. I've been loving little fruit salads with our steak and eggs in the mornings. It's like everything's so salty. It's nice to have a little fruit with it. Um, we started a new show last night. Well, Hunter has been wanting to, well, he's wanting to show it to me because he's like, I think you really like the show. And I'm very picky with shows. I don't watch as many 
as Hunter does. He loves like action and war, but I really only like like fun kind of feel good things. And he's like, there's this really cute one on Apple TV that I think that you'll like. So um, he showed me the trailer. It's called Palm Royale. And I was like, oh, done. I, this is so my type of show. Um, and Apple TV makes really, really good series, by the way. Like their series, I've loved all of them. I watched, um, what was the one that I watched recently? Well, I love Marvelous Mrs. Mabel. That is, or that's Amazon Prime, actually. That is my, like, all-time favorite show. It just, it already ended it. It was only five seasons, but it is so good. And then I also loved, um, what is the one, the chemistry one? Oh, Lessons in Chemistry. That was Apple TV. It was, like, very, like, just, like, girly, like, women's vibes um it's just really cool i don't know what i what it is about those shows and then palm royale is with kristen wig and it is literally she is so funny she just her humor is you want to watch an episode while we eat breakfast yeah let's watch an episode while we eat breakfast but it's so well how do you even describe the show it's like it's kind of like spooky a little bit not really, but it takes place in Palm Beach, and it's all about her trying to get in trying, into the uh, Palm Beach Club. Trying to get into the Palm Beach Club with like all these like really rich and wealthy women, and she doesn't come from like any money, and she's basically like faking her way into this like socialite sort of environment, and it's just so it, funny. It's almost kind of like inventing Anna. Kind of, in a, in yeah, it gives me that vibe. It's like she's a kind of a con a little bit. But she's not. But she's, she's like not. super honest and truthful. I know. And she's so endearing. And she is married into money, but they don't have the money. But they don't have the money. It's just really good. So if you need a good show and you like like girly kind of like fun shows, watch it. Um, it's really good so far. We're loving it. So we started that last night and we watched two episodes. This is Smoke's new toy that we picked up at the toy shop. And... I think it's called, the brand is like Fat Brain Toys or something, but it's cute because you can remove all of these, he loves it, and they also have like toppers, so he can pull out the toppers, he can pull them off, put them back on, but the fact that they can like be lifted, he really likes, he doesn't really put them back on, but he likes to like lift and like play with all of the things, and we were dying yesterday because he picked up one of these and then he put it in his mouth like a pacifier we were dying he was crawling around with it in his mouth <laughs> that was so funny who's there who's there Hello! Silly! A San Tropez, la luna si desta con te. E va la twist, contando le stelle nel ciel. Ma la stella ancora più bella non è in cielo e qui vicino a me. A San Tropez, ma la stella ancora più bella. Cielo qui vicino a me, a San Tropez. Twist, twist, tutto il mondo. Twist, twist, sta impazzendo. Sogna, vuol tornare. Una lunga notte ancora mai più scordare. A San Tropez, la gente si chiede perché. Tu vale twist, portando un vestito in la me. Vuoi sembrare ancora più bella? Okay, we're gonna watch an episode of our Palm Royale while smoking Royale. naps. Okay, heads up, I have a really good Vici code for this weekend. It's 30% off. Julia saved 30. It'll go through Sunday at midnight. Um, and I just ordered a bunch of stuff because I've been honestly like, running out of clothes to wear. I didn't really bring that much stuff. I just brought a lot of comfies and I figured when I get down here, I'll kind of check the vibe and order some stuff. So I ordered a bunch of dresses, little like flowy, beachy spring summer things. Um, so I'll show you guys a couple of the looks and you can use my code on the full website through the end of the weekend. So definitely 
take advantage. They have the best dresses. I found some really good ones too. Okay, up first is actually this little jumpsuit, which is so cute. It kind of gave me like free people energy, but um, I like the wide legs in it. So it has like a little scrunch tie at the bottom, adjustable straps, and I'm just wearing like a little baby tee under it with some Uggs and slippers. So cute and flowy for like walking a coffee or a little spring summer day. I just think it's adorable. Okay, this dress is so beautiful. Um, now, I love the white satin. If you're a bride, this is stunning, but even if not, this is a great like solid basic. It has a little open in the back, but this part is elastic, so it is nice and stretchy. Um, I didn't bring my Spanx down here, but I'd probably do a little pair of Spanx with it, and I have it with cowboy boots because I just love the contrast. I think it's so pretty. I also love with just like a sweater over if you want to wear it a little bit more casually, like literally throw a little sweater over it, and now wear this to like a chilled dinner or even a hoodie to make it like even more casual like a graphic crew neck and like tuck it up and wear it with sneakers um sort of like this like a little crew neck and some adidas and then if you had like a colored little crew neck or like darker it might make it like a feel even a bit more casual but this sort of vibe i'm obsessed with next up are these amazing big baggy like white linen-y pants I love a baggy pant. It's pretty much like all I wear if you guys follow along my wardrobe and style. Especially for the beach, just throwing on over like a bathing suit or with a little tank and a hat and like some flip flops. Even sneakers, it's so good for mom life because they look a little cooler than jeans. Really, really comfortable, big and spacious. Um, and just very chill and then this dress is so beautiful it's white but it has like colored stripes throughout it I love me some stripes and the colors aren't like so vibrant and crazy I know we're just like sort of easing into color over here but I love the cutout shape I love wearing this style even pregnant it is just the most flattering thing and these style skirts are like really in right now like the bottoms of it I just have it with sneakers I love a dress with sneakers I think it's so comfy okay so those are some of my favorites from the haul I'll post more on Instagram too um they'll probably have some more looks they are one of my go-to's especially during spring and summer for stuff like that so I mean showers weddings vacations like they slay <laughs> Smokes up from his nap. He took a nice long nap and Hunter and I watched another episode of Palm Royale. And now we are caught up. Sorry, Smokes in the bedroom, so I'm like hovering. Watch him. Did you want to come hang out in here? Come here. So I'm trying to convince him to do a nice long walk outside because it's a little bit windy and chilly to go to the beach. Um, so I figured we would do like a nice long walk. Like I'm talking like a two hour walk, get like lots of steps in. And we, I thought we could walk down to some of like the shops and just like, you know, be around people, roam in and out of the shops just to like get some interaction. We'll see, I don't know. The walk is kind of far. It's like literally an hour there and an hour back. So it'll be like a really long walk, but it'd just be nice to kind of like decompress, get it outside and it's really kind of all you can do when well we could like go play pickleball or something but we have to do that during nap time so um the walk seems like the only option and Smokey loves walking and the dog loves walking everyone loves walking it's good for all of us so I figured maybe we could do that um just covering up some of my breakouts they're so bad guys I don't know what's going on with my skin, it is. It's pretty bad. Hi, baby. And do a little elf halo just to get some tan going. I've been doing this with the Refi brush, and I love the way that it spreads it. Something about the pokey bristles. Cute. I love you. So, been obsessed with this shade of dips. It's the one that I talked about back when I had my 20% um, off code with them. I think my normal code for them, it's always Julia, but I think it's normally just 15%, but sometimes like every month or every couple months, they will bump it up to like a random 20 for like 48 hours. 
just for like a little flash moment. Um, and of course, the ride or die brush. Live for this brush. Retrograde Rose, I love the bronzer color. You would think it looks kind of dark, Maybe. but I love it. Yeah, anyways, it's absolutely perfect. Oh, looks like green little sun. Deodorant. What are you doing? You look cute. What the fuck? Is what too bright? No. Red socks. Cute. From the Boston Red Socks. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Mama, Mama. Wait, can we clip this bracelet? Mama. Clip it? Yeah, it's right there. Where? Anywhere? This is the toggle. Why are you wearing so many bracelets? That's cute. Are okay, you ready, cutie? We just going. Also, he was like kind of sweating earlier. Um when we were laying together and we like got really hot and some of my tear <laughs> bled onto his face. So I'm like, whoopsie, sorry about that little guy. It's probably windy, but we're out on our walk. Eastern Lake, it's so pretty. There's lots of bikes, by the way, tons of bikes. Okay, you guys, we made it to Seaside and we just wanted to come down, kind of walk around. It's a good hour walk about, right? It was an hour and 10. Hour and 10. And there's the cutest little market here that has a lot of shops and just wanted to come and check it out and I figured a good way to get here would be walk you and get our steps in. Uh, ooh, these bathing suits. I think I saw these at um, Tribe Kelly. They're cool. They're so different. Interesting. All right, I wanted to look at these bags. I love these style little bags. This yellow one's cute. Okay. Well, walk around a little bit, but these are really cute. Is the thing called Coletta? Yeah, they make them here in Seaside. It's cute. Yeah. Cute, all the little teens on their bikes. Yeah, in this big open grass, we figured we'd let Spooky crawl around for a bit, give him a little break. Okay, we're on our way back. Smokey's in the playlist zone. He's getting a little fussy. But we're just looking at all the houses. Let me turn your music down a little. How cute. Look at this one. They're all like little beach shacks. This is seaside actually. So a little bit different pace than where we're staying. But still really cute. And I think fun fact this is actually where the Truman Show was filmed. Ooh this one's cute. It was yeah. Adorable. We love all the little screen porches and the walkways on the sides. Like, I'll show you in a second, but that's cute. Of course. Cute little pink and green one. I like that one. That's so cute. So this is kind of the vibe down here. And a lot of these you can rent. People own them, but you can rent them out. So just hop on Airbnb. They got them everywhere, and they all have like different little names. Odessa Street, that's the street I was This is Odessa Street, that's right! Oh, yeah. yeah, baby! That make you smile! We saw some friends from Nashville that were in town. They texted us and they were like, it was so random. They were like, um, hey, you wanna meet up for a drink in Seaside? We're gonna be there in about an hour, and we were literally in Seaside. And I was like, wait, we're here right now. Where are you? So we just went by the bar and just said hi to them and talked to them. Nice, and uh, now we might catch a little sunset walk back. I don't know if we'll quite catch the sunset, but we can. If we, we don't catch on the walk, we can get back and go to the go beach. To beach. That would be super fun. I love that. Turned out to be a nice day. Turned out to be beautiful. <laughs> what a break! And some water. Delicious. Good. <laughs> we just did that long walk. And all you want to do is the frisbee. We just went like six and a half miles, bro. Good oh boy, come on. Let's go inside. Okay, we're home and we decided to watch the sunset because it is so pretty tonight. It is tonight. popping so off. So calm. It's like cotton candy sky. It's like pink and... Pink. It's pink. Hunter says pink. Pink. What do you say? Pink. Pink. <laughs> pink. Pink. And you say It's pink, pink and orange. Pink. Pink. 
to be here. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna go enjoy, and then I think we're gonna make some burgers tonight when Smokey goes to sleep, but we're trying to soak up as many sunsets as possible. So cute, he's laying on Hunter's head. It's so sweet. That's all right, we're going back to the cottage and you get again night night, okay? And the moon is out, it's so pretty. So these are the cool like moments, I feel like being by the beach, yep. that you kind of like the savor. Evenings. The evenings are calm, the sunsets, but the moon and the warm air, it's like, oh, beautiful. beautiful. It's magic, honestly, worth all the, Anything that you gotta do to get here, really. Baby's down. We're working on dinner. We're doing burgers tonight. And I'm making bacon. And Hunter is working on sweet potatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. Why is bacon so good? I don't know. It's really good. So he um, saw something on Instagram about sweet potato sliders, like using those as the buns instead of gluten buns? Yep. So, trying it out tonight. Painting on some coconut, coconut oil. oil. We'll see how it goes. I'm sure it'll taste delicious. The sweet potatoes are good no matter what, so regardless, I think it'll be good. Okay, so I'm making like kind of like a burger salad bowl. So what I did here was mix together mayo and ketchup, and I'm just gonna kind of drizzle that as like a dressing, basically. Onion, tomato, pickle, bacon. My favorite thing about it. You think you'd have it down by now? <laughs> well, I thought you did. <laughs> As I was saying, my favorite thing about our Airbnb are these little shell bowls. How cute are they? I want to get these for our house. This little memoir but they're just precious yummer holy yumness sweet potatoes those look so good all right here is the spread the sweet potatoes look delicious we're gonna cut up this burger hunter just makes a big patty and then we just cut it up and hunter's gonna make his little sliders perfect basically have it. Mm-hmm. No, sweet potatoes are delicious. They're good in coconut oil. Mm-hmm. Mm. One of my favorite meals. The flavors are so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was... Best thing First off, we devoured it. Yeah, we're so hungry. But it's I like think that was my favorite <coughs> meal we've had this whole trip. Same. You agree for real? It's so good. Yeah. I, 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 like, I like this better than the Hawaiian bowl. Uh, Hawaiian oh, for place. sure. The guys, that is the best method to cook sweet, potatoes. sweet potatoes. Put the recipe in the description. We're absolutely fire cookie. They're amazing. They're so good. They're like candy. Oh my god. Oh, I could eat another so one. good. I know. I've already had four. Take one slider and then one bite of it. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Because I had the salad bowl, so I'm gonna try. Sweet potato slider. Mmm. Wow. 
It's so good, right? <laughs> One more bite. Yeah, have, have it all. Mm. So good. It's like you're having a burger. I know. Because the, bu the buns are squishy, so it's like... Yeah. So good. Mm. I saw that on Instagram Reel on how to make the buns. Wow. So good, right? That is next level. And you actually get like a certain flavor from the sweet potato that makes the burger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. That was so good. And we're not high, you guys. Like, it's. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a real reaction. I wish. That is freaking delicious. Mm. <clears throat> go make that. Make that. Huh? I can't go make that at home. Yeah. I told y'all a couple vlogs ago to go make the Hawaiian bread. Sliders. Those are good too, but it kind of the same vibe because the Hawaiian bread's sweet. Sweet. And I saw some of y'all on Instagram tagged us and y'all made them. Yeah. But try this. If one. you're trying to eat like no gluten, it's a good option. So good. Mm. Everything we had was like really fresh and yummy. Yeah. We make good food at home. We just need a little time. I prefer our food at home. It's kind of easier once he goes to bed too. Oh, chapstick. You guys had our nerves saying since we've been down here. We've never had drier skin. Like, I thought it was like more human here though. Maybe it's like a salt water or something. I mean, we are like, feel like lizards. Like they're like, it's like, oh, it gives me the chills thinking about it. It's so dry, so dry. We were talking a little bit ago in the living room, talking about how like happy we are with our life. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of times in vlogs we are telling y'all like stressful things we're thinking about. I like, feel like the, oh. you guys feel like our like best friends that we vent to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And and which is a good thing. It's comforting like, to us and like yeah. that we can just like tell you how we're feeling. And yeah. after we have a conversation, we kind of like relay that online. And it's not. Yeah. It's can be dangerous, I think, but we feel really comfortable with you guys. Um. But one thing we're talking about is a lot of times when we're chatting, it's like, oh, we're worried about this, or like, you know, we had to work all day, or whatever. We're just like, it's like a vent session. Yeah. And we, rec we like, realize that, like, we don't ever tell you, like, what makes us happy, like, things we're, like, so happy for. Yeah. Or just, like, in the moment when things are happy, I think maybe just people in general, you don't stop to say, like, hey, this is this really is cool, or totally. I'm grateful for this. If there's something about stepping away from your environment that makes you, like, grow a lot of appreciation mm -hmm. for it and just realize like how nice you have like set up everything and I'm sure everyone thinks that like you just you could be bored in your home routine and then you go away and you're like oh my routine is like actually really great and it's just funny how it takes a little step outside the box to for realize sure. that so for sure yeah we're feeling good about like being home in a week and, and not that we're not having fun here, which but like I'm having the best time and here. I'm like sad about leaving like I don't want to leave we we're talking today on the walk that we'll be happy when we get back to Nashville mm -hmm. but we still have one more week left and it's gonna be like a great week but it's it's crazy that we're already talking about like oh Nashville's coming soon because yeah. like this trip is almost over and it was like so I don't know that walk was nice today actually wasn't it lovely so lovely I liked how long it was we walked six and a half miles I think oh wait did you we well, took the steps we on took your phone? we walked it was 98 90 so almost like 10k yeah. oh but back to our gratitude we also just talking about how thankful we are for smoke like in general mm -hmm. like it really changed our life. life and our like how we carry ourselves through each day how we see the world like our perspective like what we desire the path we want to go down and it, i don't know it's just like giving us such clear clarity i guess yeah. and a, a new idea of what like life is about and a new identity on how we're going to live that life you know totally it completely or through how we're going to live that life birthed a new version of us yeah you know? it really did and i think that's what you were talking about the other night yeah on the vlog is like now you're figuring out like what that who, is yeah and who we are and like yeah. we are very settled in parenthood yeah 
but it it changes so rapidly that like mm -hmm. you get settled one day and then all of a sudden you know oh it's, it's, he grows in a new phase and then you're like kind of like figuring it out again and then you're settled but right now we're in like a settled state versus like when we first got here and we're trying to balance the work and him like we've really figured it out on this trip yeah definitely like i've i it's weird how every time you're in a new environment with a, your baby or a kid like it feels like you're relearning a whole new experience and it's i get like really overstimulated and it stresses me out because i like don't understand like how to get through the days like quickly and then by now i'm used to it where now i'm like it doesn't stress me out at all but it always is like that in the first initial shock kind yes of. that's how it was when he was a newborn too i was like i don't like that i don't have this down and don't have it figured out like it just stressed yeah. me out so much and then it gets easier like as you get used to it, it just becomes normal and we were also when we got here we were trying to figure out what our routine here even looked like outside I of know. smoke i know but it's been so fun and it's been such like a pleasure of being able to do this trip. Totally. I'm so glad we pulled the trigger. Me too. I know. Like we could have easily just been like, eh. Is it on a dream of ours, like on our bucket list? And, mm -hmm. oh, we were, we were just on that, that video you watched. We watched a little video last night. It was like a little reel or something, but it's about like using your excitement as like a guide and like a path in your life because when you go towards the thing that you're most excited about, it gets you, put your you energy, closer. All of your energy into what you're most excited about. It gets you closer to, like, what you're meant to do because you're, like, following the breadcrumb, right? So, obviously, we all know this, but just a good reminder. And this has been something that Hunter and I have been excited for for so mm -hmm. long and have wanted to do so long. And it just, like, it's, like, moving the chess piece just a little bit closer to, like, like aligning with your like truest self yeah and, and, and helping you figure out, out like what you desire exactly. and like how you're gonna get there yeah so know. so happy that we did it and we will conclude the final thoughts at the end but you guys know feelings and thoughts always change mm -hmm. over time um and then we'll probably feel different when you get back to nashville and you start to reflect longer and longer and you know silly we're on a late schedule so we gotta get to sleep we are thankful and it's felt good to to recognize like the things we're thankful for. Yeah. And we challenge you to do that as well. Like have some gratitude in your life. Totally. I, I was listening to a podcast actually recently, and they were talking about like how gratitude is so important, underrated, and like it is. having gratitude like it's such an important important thing. It is. Well, it's like um, I think they talk about it in that book, "The Body Keeps the Score." It's like when you can like think of the things you're like grateful for. It like literally like makes your body feel like happier yeah like because you feel it's like good feelings well it's also a recognition like it it puts your attention on like the, the positive good. things in your exactly. life it's kind of like following the breadcrumb like the excitement yeah. yeah but anyways yeah it's it's nice to take take some time and take some moments to like show gratitude recognize the things you're thankful for and things that are you're happy about and like the good in your life, the positivity, and uh, I think it makes your days better when you do that. Totally. Um, but anyways, like we said, we're thankful for y'all. Love you. We'll see you tomorrow. We appreciate y'all sticking around on, on this crazy, wild journey. I know. I feel like our channel, like, has just oh. been like <laughs> this in terms of like because i've been following we've been us all over the place out, yeah. all over the place but for that's, well, we, six years we are all over the place i know that's we are we we'll we're not be. but we are we'll always be a little bit off a little bit of place a little bit not a little bit but place. we appreciate y'all following us along on the roller coaster yeah always and um showing love to mr Smokey. hunter and i say all the time we're like I can't believe people even watch these damn videos like honestly we can't all believe it you guys like we don't get it but we're like <laughs> We'll go with it. We'll, we'll, keep, <laughs> we'll going. keep going. We'll keep doing it. So, but it makes we us love, happy we love that people get us. We love filming. We love putting content up for you guys. I know. But, it's um, nice to be understood. Anyhow, we're going to go to sleep. Okay. Love you. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. Daddy just shaved. Baby's yeah. eating some fruit salad. Yeah. And mama's making some sausage and some breakfast. What are you making, babe? I'm making some little parfaits and a little sausage scramble. These are with cashew yogurt. And topping it with some of the fruit salad I just made. Oh,
Beautiful. Nice, that's perfect. Plenty. Oh. <laughs> Alright, she did a walk with Booker, me and Smoke, while Mommy is making snacks for the beach, so we're not starving on the beach later because we plan to do like a full beach day. So excited! Let's go do it. It is perfection today, like Glorious. real summer day. It's so beautiful. Smoke, he's napping. We did a little makeshift tent for him underneath this towel. We have a little umbrella with us, but we just know smoke and he probably wouldn't stand in the umbrella. He wouldn't. So he falls asleep on us and then we transfer him yeah. and this it's is plenty. Great. And it's less, I mean, it's so much stuff to carry if you guys know. Um, so it works for us, you know, whatever you gotta do. Um, guys, we are at H&M. They are strict with their coats, like. As they should be. As they should be, but they're giving this guy right now for not having a license for his car on the beach. They give out 150 permits a year, and it doesn't appear that this guy has one. So, yeah. Yeah. so sad. Look at this, guys. My tuna salad that I made fresh with dill and pickles, Yummy. carrots, and oh, fruit salad. <laughs> fruit salad. Let's try the tuna salad. I have used to tell myself, but I brought some chips to go with it, so do not be worried. How's your nap? How's your nap, gorgeous? Okay, lastly, bikini of the day is Kulani bikinis. Beautiful. I got a pack of bikinis from them for, or actually, I had them shipped here. They fit so nice. They're made in Australia. The prints are really cute. I love the way that most of them fit. Um, and just really nicely cut. The fabric is like flattering, heavy weight, and they're like 50, 60 dollars for a top, and then for a bottom 50, 60, so it's like 100 for a bathing suit, but worth it. Very cute and really cute patterns. What's your favorite? Suit? I have on some Adidas. Are they Adidas shorts that you're just wearing as a yeah, suit? Yeah, but they're like cute. almost like they're like running shorts, but yeah. they kind of feel like bathing suit material. I feel like guys, you can just wear whatever. I like buying shorts that are like this material because mm -hmm. they don't have the lining. Yeah. And then this is a Target tank. Love it. Little hat. Where'd I get this guy? I got it at Bass Pro. Cute. Did you get it this trip at Bass Pro? Yeah. And then your two watches. Well, I got my whoop and my watch. Your whoop and your watch. I'm charging my whoop right now. I need to take this off a little bit I think I might get on the whoop game, but I just don't want to wear it. I don't like the way it looks. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> like for me, because I like, like, dainty jewelry. Number two on dad. Danielle! Someone's awake. Danielle! Someone's awake and eating grapes. Choo choo choo. Good job. She's getting really good at pulling up, too. Pull up. Good job. Are you having fun? How's your grape? <laughs> oh my goodness, you got some grape on your corner of your mouth. Are you looking at the plane? He loves the plane. Smokey loves looking at these. Okay, clouds are coming out, so I think we're gonna pack that. Head in, do bath, bottle, nap, and Hunter has to edit the vlog actually to get up, so. Let's do it. Ready for bath time? Let's go. Hi. All right, y'all. It's bath time. <laughs> we always bring him in and wash him off in the bath, get all the sand off his body. We started some laundry in there. Booker, what are you doing? 
All right, back from the beach, just did bath time, and that is the end of this video. We'll see you guys next week. It's our last week in Florida. We can't believe it. One more week. Buddy. One more week, baby, by the beach. Anyways, we'll see you next vlog. Y'all have a good week. See you next time. Bye. Well, that's all.